We're going to convert a base 5 number to a base 10. So one thing we're going to need is lots of powers of 5. How many powers of 5 are we going to need? Well, the farthest one on the right is to the 0 power. There's 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. So we're going to need 5 to the 5th. And I'm going to write these as a column. 5 to the 5th. 5 to the 4th, 5 cubed, 5 squared, 5 to the 1st, and you're also going to need 5 to the 0, don't forget about that. Some of these are easy to compute, 5 to the 0, anything to the 0 is 1, 5 to the 1st is itself 5, 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 5 times 5, or 25 times 5 is 125. Now I think the next one's 625, but just to be sure, I'm gonna go over to my calculator. I could have done any of these from the beginning, like five times five equals 25. Now if I just type times five, it'll be the last answer. Oh, times five equals, there we go. So that's the 125, which is 25 times five. Now I'm gonna do another times five. There's the 625, and while we're here, let's do the last 3125. So we have 625 and 3125. Okay, so we see different place values here. So we'll go, we'll go small to big. So we have zero times one, which is zero. So that is what the zero digit contributes, or five to the zero power. Now I have a four in this position, and that four is in the fives place. So that's gonna be a four times five, which is 20. So that digit I have circled actually contributes 20 to the value. Next we have a zero. So this is zero times place value of 25, which of course is zero. Can you skip the zeros? Absolutely. However, I'm doing them just to be thorough and so I don't accidentally skip over a uh, power here. So now we're at five cubed. And again, I can see the cube up there. There's a three on top because I counted very carefully. So this is times 125 which is 125. Next up is four in the five to the fourth position. So it's four times 625, which is a lot. Four times 625, 2,500. And last up, we have a four in the five to the fifth. So four times 31, 25. Twelve thousand five hundred. Okay, so we want the total value of all these digits. So we're gonna add them together. So we'll start at the big ones at the top. Let's see, these two added together give us, let's see, 1,500, yes, uh, plus 125, uh, 15, 125, plus the 20, 15, So that's the total sum. I'm incredibly bad at adding, so I like to add only two numbers at a time. If you feel comfortable just going down and adding in the column, go for it. Uh, that works just fine too. So that would be our answer. And this is in, you could write 10 down there, but this is the 10, the decimal or base 10 version of this base five number.